we are at um, Beth, our executioner's house, and we are going to change out her air filter for her air heat and air conditioning system. And, you know, when you walk around your house, I know you guys have seen something like this in your house. Dallas, how many of these do you have? I probably have four or five throughout the entire house, maybe more. And see, I've only got one, and um, that's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with all of those. Exactly. Um, but, um, and this is a really simple job, it just takes a few minutes. But there are different kinds of filters that you can use for this. And um, the whole whole thing too is just trying to make sure that what you're breathing in is somewhat clean. See, you find you get dust on these things. So what, what have you found to be the best way to get the dust off of the grate? Just get your brush attachment to your vacuum cleaner. I think I've got one right here. Just, and it goes in there perfectly just to get all that little bit of dust off. Uh -huh. And the other thing you can do is when you open it up, just when you're vacuuming every now and then, every few weeks, just you can vacuum out the filter too. If you have dogs or whatever, it'll get the big particulates out and still keep working. That's a mighty big word for a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been reading my, <laughs> my filters. <laughs> we, um, um, I never thought about vacuuming the filter itself. That's a great idea. Um, and uh, so let's look at, let's take a look at the different choices of filters. Now I know Beth has got a um, washable, washable one in there and she has not been pleased because even when you wash it, there's still garbage on it. She said know. it remains dirty and then the other thing you have to think about if you are allergic to dust and pollens and things like that everything's getting trapped in there when you wash it you're breathing all that stuff in. Yes, so that's why I don't like to that. touch that stuff. Okay, that's Same fair. Same with the vacuum. This is one of the better va uh, filters. Okay, and it's um, let's see the, the number tells you the higher the number the more Particulates. Particulates. <laughs> <laughs> That's rolling out. And it says okay. ultra allergen, and you can see this one. You can just feel it. It's constructed better. There's, it's pleated. It uh -huh. has the uh, wire on the front, and the back. So it means it's going to be more stable in there, it's going to hold, and it's going to suck all that stuff in and keep it in there better. Okay. And that's for that one. This is, I would say, probably a mid-grade. It's still very high. Mm -hmm. 1085 is the number, but it only has the wire mesh on the back side. Mm -hmm. But it's, these are all three-month filters, by the way. And this is one of the lower-end three-month filters. Notice the number 600 there. Okay. And you can even tell by looking at the um, filter, up. filter, okay, Miss Particulate, what do you call it? Stuff. <laughs> the fuzzy stuff. The Come fuzzy on. stuff. Very technical. <laughs> um, but you can tell that this one isn't as dense as this one, and neither of them are as dense as this one. Right. Okay. All right. Well, now that we know, I think Beth's probably going to be using the big one, knowing her. So uh, let's go to changing it out. All right. Beth's um, thing's got a screw. And mine just has those flippy things. Right. I'm losing this. I would totally lose that. Let's <laughs> suck it up with a vacuum. Oh, there you go. Let's see. And then she's also got this clip that comes out. And then, okay, so here's this washable deal. I don't <laughs> understand because it seems like, too, it would be really hard to get it dry. And What's the point of having a filter, getting all that stuff away from you if every so often you have to clean yeah, it? No kidding. Um, now, when you go to put the new filter in, they all have an arrow on the top and bottom so that you know which way is supposed to be facing in. Let's see, okay, she's got a, man, she's got a complicated deal here. Exactly. And don't forget to write the date on it before you put it in. <laughs> there and that you way go. you'll know. That's a great idea. I would have never thought of that. Well, because you don't think about this often. And so that way you can just flip one door open and say, oh, I got another month. There or, you, you know, it's time. All right, baby, close me up. And that's it. Now, you know, um, changing your filters, I was reading the other day, ch being good about changing your filters can actually save you um, between $100 and $500 a year. Wow. Because you're spending money and energy to pull the air through, so the more difficult the air is to pull through. That's worth it right there. Costs. No kidding. So there you go. Beth is ready to rock. She can breathe clean. Dallas can breathe in here. <laughs> Life is good. Life is good.